Introduction to App Services. Hey everyone, Ben Finkel here, and in this nugget, I want to take just a few minutes to introduce you to the concept of App Services on the Microsoft Azure platform. App Services represent Microsoft's Platform as a Service, or PaaS, the PaaS, that allows you to write and deploy web applications, logic applications, mobile applications, right inside of the Azure platform without worrying a single thing about the actual underlying hardware or software that those applications are going to run on. A few years back, a couple of the smart engineers at Microsoft had a pretty good idea. They thought to themselves, what if we took our Microsoft Azure infrastructure, our infrastructure as a service, which is all of the, the servers that support the virtual machine environment, and we bundled all that up, we installed some operating system on those virtual machines, and installed IIS, the web server, on those machines, and exposed that through a, a sort of limited controlled interface for our users to upload their websites, their web applications, to run completely free of any management concerns. Our users could just upload the, the application that they built and it would be hosted on our, um, on our platform, on our infrastructure. Now this was called Microsoft Websites when it first came up and now it's known as Microsoft Web Apps, although if you've been working with Azure for a long time you probably recognize the name Azure Websites. This was a pretty good idea and eventually they expanded this out to all their various different regions around the world. This was known collectively inside of Microsoft Azure as a platform as a service, or a PaaS, P-A-A-S. And that was to differentiate it from the virtual machine service they provide, which is also known as an infrastructure as a service. Now this proved to be very, very popular, as it was a surprise to nobody at all. Most of the cloud services out there, AWS, Google, IBM, they all offer their own versions or their own variety of a platform as a service. And eventually people said, well, you know, we'd also like to be able to support mobile apps on top of your platform as a service. And you know what? Microsoft Azure decided to support those, and eventually they added in things like API apps and logic apps so that you could host RESTful services that were totally management-free. Again, you just uploaded these things into the cloud, and Microsoft Azure handled the rest of the support and management for the platform that they executed on. Well, eventually this got a little bit too much to handle with all these different products that were arguably doing kind of the same thing, or they ran in the same sort of environment, just with different kind of focuses or different goals. And eventually Microsoft rolled them all up and bundled them into a single product that it calls Azure App Service, which is just all of these together underneath one umbrella. When you go into Microsoft Azure, and we're going to see this in a second, you can still build each of these individual products. They're just all loaded up inside of the Azure App Service umbrella, the naming convention. Part of that naming convention was the switch to the Azure Resource Manager, ARM, that you may have heard about. So a few years ago, Microsoft started rolling over their products into this new Azure Resource Manager model. And along with that, they renamed or rebranded some of their products, so all these things belong to the Azure App Service. Now the things that are great about Azure App Service are relatively simple and straightforward. Like I keep mentioning uh, so far, you don't have to worry about when you're using Azure App Service, you don't have to worry about any of the management of the platform itself. Uh, what operating system is running on the virtual machines that these are being hosted on? What version of IIS? I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. Uh, you could probably find out if you really want to. But the larger point is you just don't care. It's not important. Because all you need to do is write your application or write your RESTful services and upload them into Microsoft Azure. Throughout this Nugget series, we'll take a look at a couple of different ways that you can build and deploy um, Azure App Service apps up into the cloud. But for now, I just want to kind of take a brief overview from inside the Azure portal at portal.azure.com. If you're unfamiliar with this interface, portal.azure.com represents your primary user interface into the world of your Azure installation. Uh, you're going to access and be able to manage and maintain from a nice GUI perspective any of your Azure resources that includes not just app services like we're talking about here but virtual networks, virtual storage, right on down the line. Everything that you can work with in Azure is found inside of this portal. Now before you can actually build an Azure app service one of the things that you do need to do is you need to create well you need to create it in Azure almost like you need to create a bucket. So if I go right here and I'm just gonna say new come down to the web and mobile option and I will say new web app this is how I build a new web app inside of the app service. I have to give it a name. I'll call it CBT Nuggets. And notice down here it says .azurewebsites.net. When you build a new Azure app service, it automatically gets a URL at the .azurewebsites.net um, domain. So you are given that for free. And what that means is that the app name when you build an app service app has to be unique across the entire Azure platform. If someone already had a CBT Nuggets.azurewebsites.net, I would not get this little green check mark over here and I would not be able to use that app name. You also choose a subscription. I've only got the one uh, pay-as-you-go subscription that I'm going to use here.
but when you set up your subscriptions in Azure, you may have multiple different ones. That's the subscription that is going to pay for this service. You need to associate your uh, app service apps with a resource group, and you can either create a new one or use an existing one, although I don't have any resource groups yet, so I will create a new one, and we'll call it the CBT Nuggets group. I'll put group on the end there so I recognize it. And then you also need to associate your app service apps with something called an app service plan. We're going to cover this inside of another nugget on app service plans. Notice that there is a default app service plan here called service plan whatever. Microsoft gave that to me when I first built my Azure account. Uh, it's not particularly useful or well named so I don't want to use it. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to call this app service plan CBT nuggets plan. Its location will be near me, which is in the eastern U.S., and I can choose the pricing tier here. We're going to cover all this inside of App Service Plans, but I will right now leave it at standard S1. Say OK. So now that is the App Service Plan that it's being deployed into. Click Create, and it's going to create my, uh, my web app, CBT Nuggets, for me. Up here on the toolbar, you can see this little notifications fly out. When I click that, it says Deployments Succeeded. The Deployment to Resource Group CBT Nuggets group was successful. So if I come here to my dashboard, oh, there it is, my, um, my CBT Nuggets plan. If I select All Resources, hopefully I see, yep, CBT Nuggets plan, which is my app service plan, and CBT Nuggets, which is my app service, and in this case, it's a web app. So my web app has all sorts of different information associated with it. When you select it, you can see the options down here on the left. We are going to cover a lot of this throughout this Nugget series. One of the things that I want to point out is the URL here, cbtnuggets.azurewebsites.net. If I select that, it's already a valid URL that is responding at that point. Now, there's no application there. I haven't uploaded or deployed anything yet to that, and we're going to cover that in our Nugget on deployment. But you can see that you do, in fact, have an app service running on your your appname.azurewebsites.net URL already ready to go for you. So that concludes this nugget on introduction to app services. To recap, app services in Microsoft Azure is its platform as a service, or PaaS. And what that means is that you get not only the entire infrastructure of Microsoft Azure at your disposal, but a pre-configured platform as well, including the operating system, the web server, and any other supporting software that's needed to host your application and make it available worldwide. All you have to do is write your app, deploy it into Microsoft Azure, and it's immediately available on the internet for anyone who wants to use it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.